channel. So for today, we are going to Trader Joe's. You're getting a mini Trader Joe's haul and we're doing a Q&A. It has been a hot minute since I've done a Q&A. So, oh yeah, I'm in Olympus, honey, again. I have no clue what I'm getting at Trader Joe's. No list, just feelings. Let's get on our shirt of the day. Shirt of the day. She's a singer. Make it blue. If you know, you know. I guess I'll tell you once again if you don't know because I have worn this shirt in another video from Sleeping Beauty when they make the dress blue and they make the dress pink. I like when the blue, I like when the dress is blue. My sister has the pink version. I'll have them linked down below if I can find them if you're interested. They're really cute. And I spilled my foundation on it earlier. I think it got it out though. Dawn dish soap, that's the trick, honey. Let's go. I was today years old when I found out that you can like look at your pictures on your watch. I mean, I've literally had an Apple watch for years and years and I didn't even know. So I don't need the big bulky iPad this time. I don't need to write them down or type them out. I have them right here. Okay. First question, how often do you go to Trader Joe's? I go once a week. Yes, if there is something I desperately need, like, okay, there was one week a few weeks ago where I went three times. I went, about five more rounds of those speed bumps. I went three times because one morning they had the pickle popcorn and they said they're getting the patio chips the next day. So I went just for patio chips and then I went again to do like my, my like week of shopping. But once a week is good enough for me. I'm feeding myself, so I don't need that much food. I'm out of stop sign, everyone. When will we get some Disneyland content? Oh my God. So funny you ask because I'm actually going to Disneyland very soon. So I have a whole list of like Disney, Trader Joe, mashup kind of video content for you. Oh yeah, we're making this late. Another question I saw, what's your favorite springtime like item, seasonal item, the patio chips for sure. And the synergistically seasoned popcorn. I. I have come to, well, it's no surprise, but I've come to realize that those are the two products that I keep buying over and over and over again, because generally, even if I really enjoy something, unless I'm like obsessed with it, like those, I only get them once, even if I really liked it, because there's so many new things to try. I literally just can't keep getting the same things in addition to trying all the new things. So it would just be too much food. She's empty. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, she's, there's a spot right up front. Oh my God, they said MTJ is on her way. Clear the spot, clear the spot. Oh, is that a spot? Okay, well it is today. See you when I get back. We have the goods. Now let me go show you. What's the worst thing you've tried so far in 2021? Oh man, you know, there's been a lot of like jank items. I I don't know, you know what, you know what? I can't like, you know, there's been so many products that I've just like haven't been impressed with that I need to look and then be able to tell you. Like I need to go look at the things I posted, let me see. More recently, more recently, the Tangy Turtles, I just reviewed those and they were wretched, pretty wretched. It takes a lot for me to like not want to continue eating something and to like be like, I'm not gonna eat any more of these. That happened with this product. I only tried three for the review. Go ahead, mister. The vegan cashew tikka masala um, almost killed me. So those suck and the jackfruit barbecue. That was terrible because of the shells. If you don't know what I'm talking about, just go look at the reviews, you'll know. It's been a long 2021. I'll have to look. We're almost home. See, this is the problem. Down the street from Trader Joe's. It's fine because it's right now. Oh, yes. <laughs> Is that like the next prize or shine? I'm very excited to show you my haul. Um, I spent more than I wanted to. Might I add only one of the items is like an actual meal. It's fine. It's fine because it's who I am. A mess. I'm so excited. I'm so excited for this haul. I'm so excited for the haul. I think we're gonna go. Oh my god, there's a huge poodle. Wow, this poodle is walking this woman. This woman isn't walking the poodle. Like, please tell me why you're driving on the wrong side of the road and like that was your plan instead of just going around me. I always reverse into my spot because it's like really hard to get out of but the things I do for you. So we have good lighting and the lighting's still so great. 
All right, we are back. I'm back. I'm parked. I also went on the gram real fast and I wrote down all the products that I absolutely hate, like would never eat again for 2021 thus far. How many months are we into 2021? Not many. Ongoing with what I already said, the Cajun Alfredo wretched wrecked my stomach and apparently i wasn't the only one who had a wrecked stomach so i was like this product must really be messed up if i'm not the only one you know knowing me having problems the onion chips those were disgusting they just weren't good they just weren't good yeah they were disgusting they just weren't good and so many people oh my god the whole bag's only 200 calories yeah you want to eat 16 or 18 grams of fat for a f onion the red curry nudes noodles those were pretty terrible the Toto dumpling soup made me super sick. Well, I just like felt sick, but that could have been like the mix of some other things I ate that day. There was no flavor. The dumplings were like this big and they were just like pillows of flour. So I know that's what a dumpling normally is, but I'm saying like, and the guilt-free mac and cheese. I mean, this one didn't taste bad. It's just how they make it guilt-free is they cut your portion into like an eighth. There you go. There's a a list of what sucks so far. Where can I get those stickers you posted about? You can find them on Etsy, uh, Sunroots Co. They are the ones who make the stickers. I just collabed with them, they're amazing, I love them. And let me just show you one from the collaboration. Because if you didn't already know, sorry, let me explain on here. I did a collaboration, I'll have pictures somewhere, of the stickers and the sticker sheet with a small business, Sunroots Co. And they make stickers for like your planners, stationery, and they also make vinyl stickers for your water bottles, whatever your heart desires, etc. And I collaborated with them and we made stickers based on my favorite products. So that's what that is. I'll also have the other Etsy shop link down below for my Disney stickers because I get questions about those. Oh, I guess that can lead into my next question. Could you try the Trader Joe's knockoff Takis? Yes, absolutely. You know what's actually funny is that I eat those all the time, but I've never sat down and done a review. I don't know why. I'll give you a hint. They're amazing. If they're on the, <laughs> they're in the collaboration for my favorite products. So if that tells you anything. Can you post more recipes on your website? Yeah, yes I can. What do you want to see? What do you, what do you want to see? Actually, please let me know if there's anything that you specifically want to see because I'm noticing that a lot of my recipes are like sweets because I like sweets. I have a few things that I'm going to post that are not sweets, but I don't know why I just are drawn. I'm drawn to uh one more time for you sweets. So let me know what you want to see. Like, do you want to see a salmon dish? Are you trying to find a meal that's maybe under like 500 calories? Oh yeah. Pickle chips or pickle popcorn? Pickle chips all the way. Okay, so I believe, did they have pickle chips last year? If they did, I didn't try them, but I tried the pickle popcorn. Obviously, I was gagging over it. That good, good, good guy. Not like gagging. I'm like gagging. I loved them, but then come around this year with the chips now, I can like compare the two. I like the chips more. The popcorn is still phenom phenomenal phenomenal period but the chips are like chazzle dazzle oh yeah we added a little a little like mousse um i'm pretty sure this question was like what snack are you most excited to get on your disney trip oh my god someone is leaving i'm really excited to get the chocolate covered pineapple spear at Pooh's corner and Pooh's corner only if it's open this isn't like a snack but I'm really excited to get the lobster quesadilla at the Craftman's Grill. You need a reservation. I got the reservation. Okay, so I always get the spicy watermelon marg, but it's in the hotel. Like I go to the bar inside the hotel to get my marg, and then I come back to the grill to get my quesadilla. I will let you know though, I have tried the ginger pineapple margarita from the Craftman, Craftman's Grill. I'm not a big fan of it. I didn't like it. I wouldn't really recommend it. Margaritas are my favorite. I like tequila. Yeah, if you didn't already know, which you will find out more soon. Oh. Favorite popcorn. The Synergistically Seasoned Popcorn is so good. They didn't have it last week and I rage called my mother, scared that it was gone for the season and she got me some at her store. That is the best, stock up on it. It is, li it is literally tangy, salty, smoky, spicy, and slightly sweet but it, it is kind of heavy on the smoky. So if you don't like smoky, it'll be a problem. Check out my review. Something like any 
Oh, Siri, I'm not trying to talk to you. Any, no! Any recommendations for a picnic? How cute. I haven't done any like big little picnics, but my mom and I have gone to eat at the park and we bring the pre-made salads. Like we just bring our own salad or like a wrap or something just so we have like our own thing and it's super easy and then like toss away the the container and whatever. We do that, we'll bring fruit, like apples, snacks. I like the honey wheat pretzels cause those don't have like any sort of like seasoning on them. So your fingers aren't all like gross. Cause you, if you're like at a picnic, you probably can't wash your hands. I mean, I'm sure you have wipes with you, but drinks. I would highly recommend like the little individual cans of drinks. Cause then everyone can have their own and you can bring like a little variety, maybe some like hummus and pita chips. That might be like a cute little moment. A little, <gasps> if you're a Disney fanatic like myself, damn, I don't have my Disney cooler with me, but I have a little Daisy Disney cooler and I bring it with me when I go to Disney, when I um, was on campus, like all day long and like was working in between there, I would just bring all of my food for the day and just shove it in the cooler and then just keep walking back to my car to get food highly recommend um if i could find the link for it i'll link it down below because i've used it so many times and it's cute okay so i answered all the questions it was kind of a small q a because i put up the q a really last minute i was like oh my god i'm gonna do a haul why not throw a q a in there since i knew i wasn't gonna get that much food now we have the haul look at my bag um i spent let me find my seat he just kind of like chucked it in my bag I spent $17.74. So let's get started. These are all new items. New slash seasonal and new to me. So obviously you already saw this. I got the synergistically seasoned popcorn because I had it, so I grabbed it. This is the only thing that I have already tried. Yum, 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 go get it. I got the coconut cold brew coffee concentrate. You know, everyone has been saying it is amazing. Like chazzle dazzle up the you know what. So I got so i got it i love coffee i'm not a huge fan of cold brew i'm just more picky about the cold brew but wow it's like there's a dent in it but someone suggested i try the instant cold brew like they want a review on it um you can always make suggestions on my website or any of my media and it's amazing amazing what was i talking about the instant cold brew it is so good i haven't had a chance to actually like review it yet but it's amazing and I literally have already purchased multiple so I thought you know what if everyone is saying this is where it's at we're trying it and I love coconut and they say it's like heavy on the coconut mix one part of coffee concentrate to two parts of milk or water okay so one part coffee to like almost two parts water and then some creamer that's probably what I'll do I got the sparkling strawberry juice beverage I tried the watermelon I really liked it it was a tad artificial but I don't know why I just like gulped that thing up. So I wanted to try the strawberry. Apparently this is year round. I don't know because I don't like normally get these. It's summertime. Oh my God, 15 grams of sugar, but no added. So I'll live. And they didn't have the sparkling pineapple juice. That's what I wanted. And they were all out. The saltwater taffy. Okay, do you want to hear like the, the saddest thing? I mean, it's not very sad, but this has been on my list since last summer. And I didn't know it was seasonal, so I just had it on, like, my really long generic list, and then it disappeared, and I was like, okay, great. So I picked these up. I'm pretty sure it was $1.99, which I think is pretty good for taffy. Well, I mean, if it tastes good. Yeah, $1.99. I grabbed the spinach and cauliflower lasagna. I'm excited to try this. Uh, the nutritional facts are really good. 310 calories for the whole thing, 18 grams of protein, which is slamming for something that doesn't have, like, meat in it. I'm here for it. I hope it's good. I've never tried their like lasagna. So I wanted to try the vegan one. The only reason why I didn't, I really like that it was just like vegetables, not like fake meat or anything, but it has fake cheese on top. And so I was like, Ugh, I'd rather try this than the vegan. And then the last thing, I'm saving this for last because if you couldn't tell by that video, I made a buffoon of myself in the store, in the store. I never film myself in the store. Um, I just like shop and leave. And this time I was like, you know what? It's like empty. So why not like film? I'm left-handed. I'm filming with my right hand. The bag is on my left arm. And then I go for the candle and it like, you see, you saw it. And then people were right there. Oh my God. It was so embarrassing. And they like watched me like film. They like watched me film the mango tangerine candle. It smells very nice. Oh yeah. 
Oh yeah, it smells really good. I'm gonna have to like show my mother and my sister. It's kind of perfumey. So if you're not into those kinds of scents, maybe not. People are comparing it to like a anthropology candle. I don't know, I don't know her. It sounds expensive, so we don't know her. Like, what is it? What is it? And that is my haul. All right, everyone, there you have it. We have my little Q&A and my little haul of the week. Don't worry, I have more food like in my fridge and my freezer. So don't think I'm like living off of taffy and cold brew and popcorn. I promise you, I, I already have real food. So we're good. We are good. Be sure to like, subscribe, comment down below. Uh, what are you bringing to your picnic? I really wanna know. So if you could tell me, that would be great. Have you tried any of these products from my haul? Is there anything you want me to review? Let me know, I will do it just for you. Why are there so many people walking around? Uh, check out the website, MrTrinderJoes.com. That is where you'll find the reviews. Not the reviews. Yes, the reviews, but the recipes. So if you're interested in looking at the recipes that I had mentioned, they're in the website. Check out Instagram, Mrs. Trader Joe's. That's where all my reviews are, and you will see them there. You will see them there first. So be sure to check that out. Be sure to check everything else, all the other socials, whatever your little heart desires, and then some. And I will see you next time. I'm not afraid to